Hey everyone, you're watching Adventure Toys, and today I'm going to be talking about what you can do to stop bullying. So yesterday I posted a video all about Pink Shirt Day, what that day is, and why we celebrate in Canada. If you haven't seen that video yet, I suggest you click on the link in the top right corner, and it'll take you to that video, and it'll just teach you a little more about bullying and bullying awareness. Now I was a little worried to post that video because I thought it was maybe too serious for my channel, but I thought it was really important and I decided to post it anyway. Now I got a lot of really good comments. A lot of people really liked the video, they found it helpful. Now the one thing that was kind of upsetting to me though is that a lot of my subscribers told me that they are being bullied at school. And that's really sad and I don't like that, so I decided to do another video here kind of talking about what you can do if you're being bullied. So, let's pretend that you're being bullied by another kid at school. Let's say he comes up to you and says something like, Why are you wearing that stupid pink shirt? You're stupid. Okay, well that's bullying and that's not nice, right? If he keeps on doing it, it becomes a huge problem. Now there's really only three things that you can do when you are being bullied. Number one, you can try talking to your bully. Now if you're gonna try talking to your bully, you have to remember to be calm and be intelligent and smart, and don't say anything mean back to him because that's not gonna help the situation. So, you can try saying, well, I'm allowed to wear whatever color I want because pink is not a girl color. Just because girls wear more often doesn't mean it's for girls. I can wear whatever I want. It doesn't hurt you, it's not affecting you, it's my choice, so just deal with it. I'd appreciate it if you didn't talk to me like that. Now, hopefully, the bully will understand and say, you're right, I'm sorry, I won't talk to you like that anymore. Or maybe they'll go, whatever, and they'll walk away, which they clearly don't understand, but at least they're not bothering you anymore. Unfortunately, sometimes when you try talking to your bully, it makes things worse. And you could say, I'd appreciate if you just stop talking to me like that because I don't like it. They could go, huh, you don't like it? You're such a wuss. Look at you, wussy, wussy, wearing pink. I'm gonna punch you. <laughs> See, that is definitely worse. And you know what? That happens a lot. So you need to be really careful if you decide that you wanna try talking to your bully. So if you're maybe scared about talking to your bully or you're worried that he might just get worse, don't do that and just go to step two. And step two is just telling someone. Now the best people to tell are one, your parents, so your big stormtrooper dad here or your stormtrooper mom, okay, you can tell them. You can tell a teacher like Captain Phasma here, or you can tell a vice principal like Kylo Ren, okay, or you can tell the principal Darth Vader. You might need to tell all of them. If you talk to your parents first, they might be able to help you decide how far we need to take this. If the bullying is really serious, you'll probably want to talk to the principal and the vice principal, not just your teacher. Now, most schools are completely anti-bullying. Bullying is really not allowed. Now, if you tell your teachers or your principal or vice principal, they'll bring in the student, they'll tell them to stop. Hey, bullying is strictly prohibited in the Stormtrooper First Order base. You cannot act that way. You need to apologize and not do it again. Hopefully, the bully will apologize okay, I'm really sorry, I won't do it anymore. And then they'll leave you alone. Sometimes though it doesn't work and they continue bullying you, but if you keep on telling your teachers and your vice principals, hopefully they'll take it seriously and that bully could be suspended from school or expelled even if it's really bad. So just keep on telling your teachers and your principals about it and it should be able to stop. Now here's a couple things that you should never do if you're being bullied, okay? The first thing you should never do is don't retaliate. So what that means is don't try being mean to them back. I know that they're jerks. I know they probably deserve it, but you're just gonna create more problems if you retaliate. If they call you stupid, hey, you're stupid, and you go up and punch them, they're just gonna get even angrier, and then you're gonna have gained in this huge fight, or what might happen is they call you stupid, hey, you're stupid, you punch them, and then they're going to the teachers and say, hey, Captain Phasma, this stormtrooper punched me. And then you're in trouble. And that's not fair. He started it. He's a jerk. He's the one that's been calling you stupid every day for the past week. And then you're the one that ends up getting suspended for physical violence, for punching him. So that's not a good idea. Now, even if he comes up and says, you're stupid, and you say, well, you're stupid too. Well, 
That doesn't really solve anything either because normally that just makes the bullies angry and then they start tormenting you even more. So that's not really an option. Now, if your bully is physically hurting you, like punching you and kicking you, you're allowed to defend yourself. If they're coming up to punch you and you, to defend yourself, you punch them back, that's different. But don't go up and punching them if they're just yelling mean things at you. Now, even if they are punching you and you're punching them back for self-defense, you still need to be careful. Don't go and go all karate on their butt and like break their legs or something because you're going to get in a lot of trouble if you do that. The best thing to do is tell the teacher or tell your parents. Now, another thing that you cannot do if you're being bullied, your parents, if you tell your parents about it, your parents are not allowed to deal with the bully themselves. They just can't. The only thing they can really do themselves is maybe call up this jerk's parents and talk to their parents. That's all they can do. Your parent, your dad or your mom, cannot come to the school and start pushing this kid around and be like, hey, stop bullying my kid or I'm going to beat you up. You can't do that. That's like really bad. If you do that, then this kid's going to go up to the teacher and the principal and vice principal and you and your dad or your mom is going to get in a lot of trouble. So don't do that either. The best thing you can possibly do is talk to your teachers, vice principals, and principal. Talk to your parents too, but just get them to help you talk to the proper people at your school. Now, another very important thing that you have to do when you're being bullied is you have to make sure to be the nicest person possible, just in general. You have to make sure that you yourself are just being a nice person and considerate, and you have to make sure that you're not bullying anyone else. Because sometimes what happens is that this guy comes over here and starts bullying you and pushing you around. Hey, you're stupid. And then you end up feeling really bad. You end up getting really angry. And then you go and you bully someone else. Now, that's not cool. You don't want to become a bully yourself. Okay? So the best thing you can do is just be nice. Be nice to your friends. Don't say mean things to your friends. Just try to be a nice person yourself. Now... If you have friends that are bullying you, friends, people that are supposed to be your friends and they're bullying you, go find better friends because your friends shouldn't make you feel bad. If you have friends that are making fun of you for liking Star Wars, go find some friends who like Star Wars. Star Wars is awesome. I'm sure you can find plenty of people who love Star Wars just as much as you. There's no reason to stick around with people that make you feel bad. Now, another important thing is you should stick up for bullying if you see it around you. So don't just defend yourself, try to defend other people. If you see someone bullying another person, you should tell them to stop. Like, for example, if this bully starts picking on this guy over here, Haha, you're stupid, I hate your helmet, it's dorky. Okay, if you see that, you should go up and say, hey, you need to stop bullying. That's not allowed. Now, sometimes if you do this, the bully will stop bullying this person, and then they'll start bullying you. Yeah? Well, you're just stupid. You're wearing a pink shirt. Okay. Well, that sucks, but there's nothing you can do about that other than just go and talk to your teachers. I think you should still stick up for people no matter what, even if it means the bully's going to come after you. You should stick up for that person, and maybe you and that person can go and talk to the teachers together. Now, sometimes when you stick up for someone, like let's say you say, hey, stop bullying this person. He's really nice. Sometimes that person will come up to you and they don't want to be called a wuss or something. So maybe sometimes they're embarrassed by having someone stick up for them and then they turn around and they start being mean to you. Hey, I don't need you. He was just joking. Get out of here, you wuss. Okay, well, if someone's going to be like that, then there's nothing you can do. You tried. You tried to help them. If they don't want your help, then you just leave, okay? Oh, sorry. There is one more thing you can do if you're being bullied. And this is if you're being bullied a lot and it's really bad. Or maybe you're just being bullied for a long time. Like I have a few friends who are bullied for pretty much all of school. Grade 1 all the way up until grade 12. That's like your whole life. Your whole childhood. Your whole adolescence. And when you're bullied that long, that can be very, very damaging. And what happens is that that affects the way that you think about yourself for the rest of your life. And that is just really, really terrible. And if you are being bullied that much, you might want to talk to your parents and maybe see if there's a therapist you can talk to, like a therapist, a psychologist, or a social worker or something, because you need to start maybe looking at the way that you're thinking 
and looking at the way that you feel every day because of these bullies. So if your bullying is really serious, you might want to consider that too. So that's my video. I hope that any of my subscribers who are being bullied can go and get the help that they need. One thing to keep in mind is that most bullying happens in school. So if you're being bullied and there's nothing you can do about it or you feel really bad about it, just try to remember that as soon as you get out of grade 12, it usually stops, usually. I mean, sometimes you can still get bullied at work. You can get bullied by family members and stuff like that. But most of the time it ends after high school. You meet a lot of cooler people in university or college or at your job or wherever else. And usually you can find friends who are nice and you can just hang out with those people. So just try to keep that in mind. Try to stay hopeful. Try to stay awesome. The main thing you got to remember is you are awesome. If a bully is making fun of you for something, they're just jerks. They don't know anything. They're just clueless idiots. Okay. You got to remember that you are cool. You're awesome. There's nothing wrong with what you're doing. So you're watching Adventure Toys. If you like this video, press the like button. Don't forget to press the subscribe button so you can see all my other Star Wars videos. And also, if you want to see me unbox any of these toys here that you see, you can click on the link in the top right corner and that'll take you to my Star Wars video playlist where all my Star Wars toys are. Also, don't forget to follow me on Facebook and Instagram. You can talk to me there, comment on my stuff. And I usually get back to people pretty quickly, whether it's on YouTube, Facebook, or wherever. And yeah. Hope you have an awesome day. May the force be with you.